I want to thank my good representative, Representative Tweedy, who has worked diligently to make sure that his passion and his reasoning of changing the seven days to five days, he has been a big champion of that, and he has made sure that this has become a part of our legislation because it is the right thing for us to do, A, as a chamber, B, as a state, for our constituents. So this curse, this crisis, we are able to get a better control of. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I have a few comments about the bill through you, Mr. Please Speaker. Please proceed. I want to thank the good chairman and the ranking member for doing a tremendous job on putting everything, all the pieces together for this bill. I am uh, I was honored to be uh, the co-chair of one of the working groups that uh, was to, it was legislated in last year's um, legislation to, uh, for a working group to study the, whether it is in the best practice of prescribing uh, opioid drug for minors for three days or less. And we reached out, when this, when this session started, we reached out to the medical community. We, re we reached out to everyone that we thought could help us and participate in this working group. We were very fortunate. The medical community really stepped up. We had a pediatric pain specialist, an intern and addiction specialist, an oral surgeon, a psychiatrist who has an addiction specialist, uh, pediatricians, uh, emergency room doctors, a few nurses, uh, one that specialized in child and adolescent addiction, uh, Connecticut Pharmacy Association, and the Hospital Association. Um, this this uh, um, problem of, of opioids with, uh, with the youth um, is, is just gigantic and, and, and continue to grow, and I'm, I'm glad that we stepped forward. You know, the most recent study has shown that uh, a child pres prescribed an opioid in, in his youth before the 12th grade even if, they, they, and especially if they're not at risk, if, they're in, if they're, they've never smoked marijuana or been involved in alcohol, they, they have a 30% greater chance of abusing opioids after high school. And there generally are, were two kinds of, of drug users. There was thrill seekers and self-medicators. Those that self-medicated because of anxiety and depression and those th seek thrill seekers. Um, this, you know, the opioids being prescribed can now lead to a third group. So the importance of limiting opioids to our youth is um, a great step in helping to, to stop this epidemic. And uh, I thank everyone involved, and thank you, Mr. Speaker.